Hi everyone and welcome to Planet with Amy. Now today we're going to make bow charms and we're also going to make some bow clips using the wide paper clips. Well, so what you're going to need is a sharp pair of scissors, a two and a half inch wired edge ribbon, Make sure it's wired edge, because that works the best for this type of project. Some paper clips and a charm. I got these at Michael's. Little lobster clip charm. A glue gun. So now we're going to measure out the ribbon to be about six inches. You're going to need six inches to start with. So you're going to cut at that point. And it's okay if it's a little over, a little under, just as long as you reach that six inches because your final product is going to be around three or so inches. And now you're going to cut two inches. This is going to be for the middle strip. And you're only going to need about half of this. We just need one of the sides with the wired edge. So you're going to cut this about half of it because you only need one side of it and make sure you save the other side just in case you do this color again or this pattern you have an extra piece and you don't need to waste more ribbon so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in thirds and I like to really press down to make sure it creases just right and with your hot glue gun you're going to hot glue that together so fold one side Glue one thin strip and you're going to fold that side down, your first third. Okay, you're gluing it down to the middle and now you're going to put another thin layer of glue and you're going to fold over the side with the wired edge and then just set that aside. So now you have your six inch piece of ribbon and what you're going to do is you're going to fold in the corners almost like an envelope and they're going to meet and you're going to put a little dot of glue right there, right there, just to have the two corners touch. Once it's closed, then you go on to the next side. Fold it over. Make sure you crease it just so it stays down. Put a little dot of glue. And then fold it over. So now you should have both of your edges pointed and you're going to bring them together and they're barely just going to overlap each other and this is what's going to give you that shape of the bow okay put one small dot of glue right there push it down and then you're going to turn it around and you're going to start shaping it and scrunching it in the middle we're going to make make it scrunched in the middle and you can shape it at this point you could go in between the ribbon and just put your finger through it and just shape it just so it gives you that nice bow you know with like the little what do they call that 
with the pleating, just the pleats in the middle. Okay, and now you're going to take that strip that you had cut and glued before, and that's going to be your middle band. That's just going to hold the blue, the bow, and the clip together. Now, I like to call this a little elephant nose because you're going to put it over the bow and it's going to come down and it's going to look like an elephant nose. The bow being the ears and then the nose being the wrap. So you're going to fold the top part down and this is what's going to going to keep the bow together. You're going to glue that part down. And then as you bring the elephant nose around, you're going to get it tighter. And make sure it's tight because then it, it's just going to get loose and just fall apart. The tighter it is, the more that, more that your bow is going to stay together. Okay, you're going to bring that part in, put the paper clip inside and then you're going to glue right there. Just a dot. You don't need a lot because then it starts seeping through the sides. Okay. And then you're going to fold it over and just get it in there really tight and press it. You're going to press it down. Okay, and then what I like to do is that back side, whatever's left over, I like to fold it up because it is a wired edge, fold it up, and that's going to be your guideline to cut. And you're just going to easily trim off that excess. Okay, and trim whatever's left. And there you have it. There's your easy DIY planner bow clip. Super easy, but super cute. Okay. There you have it. There's your little clip. So now we're gonna do the bow charm. It's the same exact steps. I had already looped the lobster clip into the um, the jump ring, but it's just I didn't want to film that because it, it is a little bit tricky. So you're going to do the same exact steps as we did with the clip. You're going to measure out the ribbon six inches and cut. No, oh, I think I was having some trouble cutting this fabric. So you're going to cut six inches. And then you're going to put that aside and you're going to cut your two inches for the middle band or the wrap. You got your two inches and you're going to cut it right down the middle. And make sure you cut on the side where the wire edge is right at the edge. Okay, you're going to fold in the thirds and glue down the first side. And make sure you crease because that gives it a better flat edge once you start wrapping it around the bow. thin layer of glue and then push press down the first side another thin layer of glue and you're going to press down on the wired edge side the side with the wired edge will be your your final piece okay and then you put that aside and we get to working on the bow so like the other one, you fold in the corners, press down, you crease it, 
and then just one dot of glue. Trust me, that is all you need. You don't need more than that because then it starts getting hard and you can't really play with the fabric if it's too hard. So one small dot of glue. Now I tried using another type of glue at the workshop and it, I think it was like a tacky glue and for this project it just didn't work. I don't feel like it worked. I felt like the hot glue gun just was quick and I didn't have to wait for it to dry. It wasn't wet or sticky. It was just fine. And I've used also the E6000. That works good too. But it is a little stronger. The scent is really strong. So I just recommend using the hot glue. If it's just going to be you, you know, just use that. So as you have the edges pointed, you're going to bring them together and another small dot of glue. right there this glue is just getting <laughs> so stringy there's the string again okay push down and begin to shape your bow after you're done with all that glue Okay, start shaping your bow. Scrunch it down the middle. Make sure you get the pleats because the pleats are what's, what gives it that shape, the bow look. And I really like using the wired ribbon because if you're going to use it on your planner and you're going to have it in your purse, it's going to smash the bow but you can always reshape it. The best part about this wired edge ribbon is that it's easily reshapeable and it just springs back up to how it originally was made. So shape it, make sure all that glue is off because if you put too much, it's just gonna leak out and it doesn't look nice. Okay, so you're gonna get your strip. You're gonna fold it over the top first and then glue a little dot right at the top and that little dot is going to hold the top in place to give you a little bit of leverage to hold it down. Okay, one little drop right there. And then bring that top down. There's your elephant. And then you're going to get your charm and you're going to loop the elephant nose through the charm once you're done shaping it, of course. Okay. Now that you feel that it's shaped, you have your charm, loop it through the jump ring, and make sure that the lobster clamp is faced away from the front of your bow because you want it to clip onto the front of your bow so you don't want it to clip backwards i know it's a little hard to understand but if you, you can see here how the clamp is gonna be on the back side okay so you're gonna glue that down and you're gonna fold that band over and that this is where you make it tighter make sure you fold it tight to keep that shape and then start shaping your bow again. Okay, now that you have fold over the excess right there, and then you're gonna trim off that extra fabric. I think this glue that I got, it's just a different brand and it's really stringy. I shouldn't have gotten this brand. I should have gotten the one I usually get, but get what you pay for I guess okay you're gonna trim your excess off okay and that's it you are done you have your easy DIY planner bow charm and planner clip so you are good to go thank you so much for joining me and again follow me on Instagram at planet with Amy